Release the JJ cut. Hmm. Maybe that's not the best idea. Hello, everyone. I am. Look at random. 42. The one. The only. The original. Your favorite YouTube harpy. Why the riding crop well for emphasis? Now, of course, of course, we have all of this information that came out of Reddit. And I don't know if you guys have um, seen my video. I will link it. Boop, right there. I did cover the entire Reddit leaks, just kind of reading through and giving you my thoughts as I as I had them. But I wanted to go through and make sure I, I gave you some pretty solid opinions on this one. Come in and touch touch base again and kind of kind of sum up. So last night, um, Jeremy and Geeks and Gamers and everybody was doing a giant live stream, and I, I had been tagged and tagged and sent by by countless people. So thank you so much for sending me all these Reddit leaks. I did make a video of this last night, and sorry, I've been super sick. Sorry, I put it to 1.30 a.m. instead of p.m. Because, you know, that's what happens when you're not feeling well. Sorry about that. I know probably you probably didn't get notified. So let me let me sum up. What happened was uh, somebody on Reddit, um, seemingly a Lucasfilm insider in the JJ camp. So a very, a very much a somebody defending JJ Abrams has put out on Reddit that basically what we got in the theater was mostly Lucasfilm and Disney's interference. Now this, this is just one more thing, one more piece of the puzzle that further seems to indicate to me anyway, in my opinion, that we got the, uh, the Kathleen Kennedy sort of Bob Iger Disney Lucasfilm cut, which would be the one that would satisfy nobody. And gee, what happened? It satisfied nobody <laughs> except for your hardcore people who just want to turn off their brains and enjoy everything and consume. And that's fine. If you want to do that, great. I applaud you. I'm not the channel for that sort of echo chamber. I actually have opinions and I'm not afraid to say them. So, but this, this is the thing. I don't think that any other ending would have satisfied anybody else. Maybe perhaps had they let Kylo live at the end. So yeah, spoilers, by the way. Had they let Kylo live at the end, maybe we wouldn't have gotten, you know, the, the Raylo outrage. You know, you know, maybe we wouldn't have got those people. But still, we still had... J.J. Abrams, and like I've said before, this does not look like a man happy with his work. This looks like a man who is very ashamed or, well, I, I, I done messed up and whoopsie. Maybe, maybe he's just frustrated. Maybe he's frustrated because I've done this variety interview. I've, I've torn this one apart a few times. It's uh, J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy. They have this this tension. Clearly, you know, that they, they came in. They were, oh, no, we want this and we want this and we want this. And J.J.'s like, yep, I guess we got to make an emotional ending. But here's here's my issue with J.J. Abrams in his directing style. To me, in my opinion, he feels very much like the studio notes guy. You know, like, oh, the studio says this, so who am I to who am I to say no? Now it's a little it's a little too, you know, jumping to it's a little too tinfoil hat for me to just rush in and say, yes, they did this purposely to destroy his Warner Brothers DC Green Lantern Superman stuff. It's a little that's a that's a little bit beyond where I'm believing personally in this one. My personal belief is that they were trying to do as much damage control as they could, being non-creative types, and they hired the most generic copy and paste director they could, the most studio notes guy, and it is a culmination of all of those things. Now, some of the other things in this in this Reddit post were that Finn and Poe were, um, were going, were, that Finn and Poe we're going to be a couple and Disney cut that because representation, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. They just they just didn't seem to want that. But of course, keep in mind, Finn has also been cut in Asian marketing before because, you know, Disney, Disney does not practice what they preach now, do they? They've also bent the knee in Singapore to that girl on girl kiss. There, Rose Tico had a much bigger part, et cetera, et cetera. So there's all kinds of things. Now, I don't personally think that having a JJ cut would really, really fix this mess because I don't have that much confidence in him as a director. I really, really don't. And that that's just the, the little sum up 
of what was in the Reddit leaks. If you guys do want to watch my full 20 some minute video, uh, it's up there linked. And it goes through and it covers everything. And I'll link the post in the description below too. But no, I don't think that releasing a JJ cut personally will help the film. I am only wanting it released. Now, now here, here's me. I want it released because I like the deleted scenes. I like to see what we could have had. You know, I want to see some somebody edit together something that might be halfway decent. So that's my interest. That's the only reason why I want the JJ version rele released because I'm curious about it because I would want to see what was different. But no, I don't personally think it's going to actually fix anything. So <laughs> tell me what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. This is just a little quickie thing for, for the algorithm and I have a flood to take care of and all kinds of things. Yeah, my washer <laughs> flooded and I'm just waiting for them to come fix it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!